sciatica. It's crack a luckin' everyone. It is JT, the OCG, coming to you from the place to be. Uh, cookies, um, crackies cooking. Um, so, I'm just a, this is going to be a short video, just to know I'm, I am alive. Uh, I really, it's, I don't know if it's part laziness and part stress. I'm going to say it's like, hmm, I'm going to say it's about 60% stress. Uh, 20% laziness, um, and 15% apathy, <laughs> and 5% is just poor planning on my part of why I'm not, like, uploaded, like, Hitman or anything like that. Um, and part of my thing is just, like, huge distractions, uh, is, uh, I got distracted. I started playing Pokemon Yellow, uh, version and like old school Game Boy, it's an emulator online. I forgot what website it is, uh, but um, uh, what I what I was doing was uh, I was playing that, and of course, what happened is you get you start doing like Pokemon or, or, or Pikachu, and then you, you start catching uh, catching other Pokemon, and what uh, what you try to do is try to raise them all. Which is kind of like, you don't have to do that. You could go through the whole freaking thing with just one powerful uh, Pokemon. Don't let anybody tell you what, uh, different, because you can. If you give uh, if you give Pikachu uh, a move that can defeat rock and plant, or rock and water type, like uh, Mega Punch, he can go through the whole game and just be your, your only Pokemon. Anyways... So what I did was, of course, during these old ones, Generation 1, I don't know if many of you younger guys have played that, is I've gotten, um, I got Magic Carp, and I just basically have been building up uh, him until I got to, uh, what, Viridian City, I think it is? So now I have Charmander, uh, who I did give Mega Punch to. I have Gyarados because I had I just kept on doing that. I did that grind where I just had Magic Carp, took him out, put another Pokemon in, uh, and so I have Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur, uh, Gyarados. So there's four. Uh, the other one is Nido Rena Reno, the evolved part of the little Nita Nita, the male one, and I do have the Moonstone, so I can make him uh, Nido King. I forgot what, what when you're supposed to do that. I think it's level 25 or maybe level 22 because he needs to learn another move. And then I have Butterfree, of course. Butterfree, and I got I got rid of the, the poison powder. I actually gave him Bind, which was very stupid. I don't know why I gave Butterfree Bind, uh, but I did. So, <laughs> But I, I got rid of his poison powder and I put sleeping powder. And that's how you catch the Abra, and I caught an Abra. So I have that, and so I, I don't know. And then I just kind of lost interest. So there's my ramble on that one. Then I started looking into professional history of wrestling for some odd reason. And I started watching videos on stuff like that from when I was a kid. Uh, so I did that, and anyways, uh, so I started looking like at the history of wrestling. Like I went all the way back like to the 1880s. I would just stay in the library forever to hide away from people. And so that's what I think I do now. When I get stressed, uh, and I'm getting stressed. I like my job owes me thousands of dollars this year alone. 2021 has been horrible for me. Uh, the stock market has crashed uh, ever since January. It has gone down. Well, in second week of February, all of a sudden I started losing all the profits I made in 2020. Um, again, and then all of a sudden my hour, all of a sudden they start sending me, sending me everywhere. So I was spending more money in the beginning, uh, 2020, I wasn't, I just showed up. I did my job. I did support. I stayed in an area. And so I would get paid for what I did. Uh, cause I've, I've said no to promotions at least three or four times in order to stay in a class where I still get, where I'm not just total salary and I am not supervisory and I just make money. Because that's all I want to do. I don't care about soup. I don't want to supervise anybody. I, have, I did that in the past. I don't want to do that anymore. So I just want to use my expertise and my technical skills in order to do what I have to do. Like even if that's crawling around uh, doing um, coaxial cable outside or running Cat 5 like in a uh, basement or underneath a, uh, a building. Or even if it's running uh, line up through uh, walls. You know, all that kind of stuff. Like working with, uh, working with maintenance and... Uh, 
and transportation. I like doing that too, as much as I like doing application support, coding, and cybersecurity. So, anyways, but uh, but what happened is like I have to do travel and expenses here in 2021. So I have to pay for my lodging. I have to pay for my mileage. I have to pay for tolls, which New York, it's like everywhere you go, they're going to tax you. I mean, I'm surprised that every time I go to the bathroom, I don't get like some kind of receipt from my toilet bowl uh, saying that New York State wants is, is taxing me uh, two cents on every flush. So and you think that's out of the out of the norm, but it might it might happen pretty soon. I, I am trying to get the hell out of here. Philippines are looking really nice to me. Um, now, uh, well, Philippines, but I am also looking at, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, Dubai, the, the UAE, but I'd rather live in Abu Dhabi than Dubai. Uh, I just like, it's, it's a lot more low key. It's got a really nice, it's got a really nice park, really nice bike park in Abu Dhabi. I love it. And then it's got a park right across from it. Maybe I'll, I'll have to find those videos and I'll have to upload them every once in a while about my trips to uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai. But anyway, so yeah, those kind of things. Uh, and I also cannot, I also, uh, and um, and my brain doesn't quite work when I'm kind of stressed. So yeah, my job owes me almost $5,000 at this point in just, in just five months. So, well, four months. It's, it's just turned May. And that is, uh, uh, uh. And I, 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 um, I got to a, uh, an accident, not a bad accident, by the way, but just a little accident, which twisted my neck. So I had to go to PT and I tried to apply for workers comp and workers comp here. The first thing they did was try to, uh, they, they came at you like, they give you all these things. Like if you're lying, you'll go to prison and you'll pay $5,000. And I just sat there and I was like, man, all I, I don't want money from them. You know, I didn't, I didn't have any time off or anything. So I just filled it out and I go, the only thing I want is to go to physical therapy and go to a chiropractor and get traction at the same time I'm doing physical therapy because my insurance will not allow me to go to physical therapy and go to a chiropractor, right? Because they think it's the same thing. All right, whatever. And it might be for most places, but my physical therapist does not have traction. Now that's all I want it. But still, it's like I they cut down at least three forests, sending me paperwork. Like, I'm not going to, you know, let me see. I, I don't want to show anything where, but look, see how we're on the left-hand side? I don't want to see anything where it shows, like, my name or anything. But look at all of this. All of this, plus I got some stuff on the bottom that is paper, like, three forests work of paperwork all the time telling me we deny. And then they finally denied me, and they said, well, you're going to have to go to a, a trial, um, which is just like a, a couple of bureaucrats in a room saying, uh, well, we don't believe you. And it's like, and so I told them, I was like, listen, I, well, I, I just wanted this and I, I just don't care anymore. Physical therapy is working. I, I found two exercises that are really working to, to get my twist out. And then I just sat and wrote them a scathing leather that said, listen, it, are, I really want to know if you guys are like this for somebody, if somebody's working at McDonald's and they mopped the floor and then they went to take the garbage out and for some reason they fell and hurt their back and they can't work. Do you treat them like this? Do you treat them as if they have to be innocent until, uh, um, or they're guilty until proven innocent? And that's the way it is. Uh, and, and that will tell you right away when people wonder, well, how the hell do they always tax people and they always give people free stuff in America or, 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 the, or even the UK, like over there in Britain? It's because they don't. It's because it's, it, it costs them a lot less money to pay for these bureaucrat government workers to deny everybody uh, in, than it is to actually provide help for people. And that's at the stage we are as a society and it's sickening to me. It is absolutely sickening. Listen, I don't mind getting taxed. Uh, and I told this woman, too, and I said, I spent 30-something 30, 30 years paying into this workers' comp system. Never used it once. And the first time I have to use it, you guys make me feel like I'm on trial. You keep on sending me threats. And I have to give you, like, my whole my life. And they wanted to send me down to Long Island, by the way, which is, like, six six hours away. Uh, from where I am now, in order to do like a an MRI, which I already got an MRI done, and I did that underneath my medical plan, 
And I'm, it's just like, and then she goes, oh, no, your employer paid for it. And I said, yeah, vis-a-vis, I work for the government. So I haven't always worked for the government, but vis-a-vis, it's me. I'm paying for it, jackass. So <laughs> and I'm paying for your freaking salary to basically actually sit here and go, well, prove to me that you're hurt uh, without a shadow of a doubt. And I said, okay, well, I, I don't really care at this point. But I really want to know if you treat people that like fall down and they're just making enough money paycheck to paycheck to get by and you're trying to deny them because that is a shitty thing. And that happens. In America, it happens all the time. All right, sorry, that was my rant. Anyways, what I said was I got to an accident. So I have about, I don't have a lot of damage in my car, um, considering. I have about, uh, I have about $1,000 worth of damage in my car, which for modern day imported cars i have a nissan i have my uh Mer- mercedes mercedes i'm trying to pronounce it like the germans do it's not mercedes we we in america people go mercedes benz but it's not it's like Mer- mercedes mercedes uh that's because it's german it's just like ad ad edis ad it's not adidas it's adidas so it's adidas you know a lot of german companies are basically like the first name like the first two initials of the first name, um, and uh, the last last uh, the first two initials of the last name, like Aldi, uh, which is the food place. We call it Aldi's uh, in America. We put an S at the end of it half the time. But Aldi, Aldi, and Adidas, uh, which is uh, I think his name is Aldolf Dasser or something like that. And then his and then another thing is like Germans are a bunch of brothers that get pissed off at each other. <laughs> One of them goes to the north of Germany and the other stays in southern Germany. That's that's a little tidbit for you. Yeah, so like Adidas is, uh, they had the two brothers in the 1920s and they, and they did cleats. Cleats were the big things that they did. And the one brother got pissed off the other. He went north Germany and he made Puma. So there you go. That's how Adidas and Puma uh, became created. They're both brothers. Uh, the Dasser brothers. Uh, and now my brain went off again. Oh, anyway, so $1,000 for uh, um, an import car is not a lot of money. It, it It's basically just a bumper and some undercarriage kind of stuff um, and a side panel. And so, you know, and according to, like, stuff, uh, you, uh, there's unions and all this kind of thing. Uh, you know, I, I'm owed that money. So I still, I, I can't really drive that car. And the Mercedes um, needs some work done on it. And I can't, with my neck issue, I can't get in there to work and fix the water pump. So that's all my stress going on. And and what's coming here is my depression. Um, I think I had numbers, and I don't know if I could put a number up now. But uh, I, I'll put a number up there. About, like Look up depression numbers. If you're suffering from depression, uh, do get help. Uh, but also find a way to actually beat it. I have dealt with depression all my life. It is, it has been, it it is called the black dog, right? There's this thing, this is this black dog that shows up and he gets bigger as you get older. And what you have to do is you got to try to find a, put a leash on him, that black dog of depression and just, I don't know if it's my autism. I don't know if it's just my mind or or if it's something physically. I, I'm under the thing where a lot of psychological problems, a lot of mental issues are actually physical. Uh, and we might find out what those physical things are. Like, uh, and, and you can see where, like, I'm eating a lot of red things and such. And I'll tell you what I'm, I'm going to eat now. This is because it's cooking with Cranky. <laughs> but, uh... But anyways, yeah, I'm, I've dealt with it all my life for whatever reason, and now I'm trying to eat to my blood type, uh, but to, I, I find the, I got to find that leash on the dog, and I think I've done it for a good part. Uh, a nice walk is always good. Meditation for me is even better. So I take a little walk, I listen to music, or I listen to an audio book. Uh, this is where most YouTubers go. This video is sponsored by Audible. Put my name in there, old cranky 2020, and, and you'll save 10% off your audiobooks and your podcasts. 
but no, it's uh, this, uh, you know, a walk and meditation is usually good for me. Uh, now, all right, well, that's, so that's why the videos have been, I don't know, off. And then, of course, with the SSD failures and the save file failures, that just added to this pile of nonsense that's going on in 2021. Um, but, you know, I have my house now. Uh, and so the next Cranky's Corner, I'm going to um, t uh, show you the house. Okay? And then I'll probably rant for almost 30 minutes beforehand. So, uh, here's uh, Cooking with Cranky, anyways. Alright, so, um, also, uh, I'm, I'm not drinking tea. Here's, here's, some, here's my tea. Um, I got organic uh, Japanese sencho with rose. So it's a green tea, and it's got actually rose petals in there, uh, which it tastes pretty nice. But I'm not drinking that today. I'm 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 going to America, and I'm drinking Freedom Roast. Uh, so I've been drinking this um, early in the day. So I only have I I've been drinking a little bit too much coffee today. This is the cup I'm drinking. I drank I drank um, two of these. So that's my second one, and then no more coffee. Eating for my blood type, I'm a positive blood. So what I've been, what I got here is I got like a garlic. I got a creamy garlic base. Um, and what I put in here, I have um, sweet butter, romaine lettuce. I got sweet butter lettuce, uh, romaine lettuce. I have uh, red butter lettuce. Gr no, green letter butter, green butter lettuce, red butter lettuce, I have romaine hearts, uh, I have romaine leaves, I have radishes, I have celery, I have carrots, um, and I have, and these are the small carrots, they're, they're basically like yellow carrots, and so, and I have a little bit of garlic dressing in here, so garlic, fresh pressed garlic with sort of like a, a an Italian base is in here too, uh, I'm wondering if I can get that. Oh, you can see it. You can see the base right there. So it's white. Um, and uh, if you could smell this, that you, you would smell. Oh, it's garlic. It's nice. Don't come near me and breathe on me. Uh, and then, uh, and then I have uh, the berries. Now, this is of course powdered sugar. I put a couple of sprinkles of vanilla in here, vanilla extract. And then this is honey. So. Mmm. Oh, good. That's good honey. And I think it's, um, oh, buck, buck flower honey? Or buck, oh, I'll have to look at it. It's, or maybe it's like blackberry honey. But anyways, here's the blackberries and, uh, and the raspberries. Uh, these are actual berries. Uh, you know what's not a berry? Strawberries. Strawberries are not a berry, not a true berry. And so I can't really eat strawberries. Uh, bananas are a berry, but I can't eat bananas because uh, with my blood type, uh, like bananas and coconuts, guess what? I didn't evolve there. I evolved in <laughs> um, uh, gl near Glasgow and Manchester, uh, Manchester, England, and Glasgow. Um, so do I speak Manchester, you're saying? You're like, oh my God, are you from, do you speak Glasgow? Did not? I did not, I did not, kinda, I cannot do it. I cannot do it there, Captain. Or roll my arse there. Oh, it's a, it's a trigger warning. Hey, good lord. Um, how about Manchester? What can I do at Manchester? Uh, water. I need a bottle of water. I need a bottle of water. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I'm gagging. I'm gagging for some water. That's what I'm doing. Something, nothing. Um, up, up. There you go. Uh, although I do sound like Gaming Grandpa there, but Gaming Grandpa, I think he's over, I think he's a Yorkshire. So, oop, bottom, bottom. Ah, I can't do a good Yorkshire with the bottom. Love, love. There we go. I could do the L's over at Lord, uh, um, Yorkshire. I love accents, especially when it comes to, like, American accents. So, like, the Southern Charm, you can sit there and go, well, bless your heart. <laughs> and, uh, he's got, oh, uh, or I could do like my my first accent, which is what I grew up with, and how I talk like was like my mother was the Brooklyn accent. So Brooklyn accent is like you split, like it's like you put your words in your cheeks and then they come right out. So you're like, what? Where's the cab? 
I want some coffee. Coffee. Where's my coffee? Here's my coffee. Ah, forget about it. Eh? Ah, what am I, a jerk? You know, and everything you got to do. So you don't, you answer a question with a, a question. It's like, what are you going to do tomorrow? Okay, and we're back because I got cut off. Uh, another thing that really got me is that um, where I had a bad, uh, I had a bad time. Um, is that I had these, uh, my Walker's cookies. I forgot these in the trunk of my car. I thought I brought them in. I was going crazy because I was like, oh, I lost my freaking, the only thing I bought for a treat. But I finally found them about a week and a half later. And this is also uh, the only thing I could do for a treat. Uh, these are peanuts. Um, make sure you pronounce that correctly. Peanuts. Not, don't slur it because like some of my, my accent, uh, there's been times where if I say it fast enough, it's penis. And you don't want salted penis. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so there's, there's that. Um, so that's where I get my protein. This, I get my proteins from that and legumes and, uh, pinto beans. So pinto and black eyed peas, black eyed peas, pinto beans, uh, salted peanuts, walnuts. Walnuts is another one. And, um, yeah, so that's where my protein comes from. And every once in a while, I get, like, a roasted chicken. And I'll show you that. Next time I get a roasted chicken, I'm going to get a roasted chicken, and we're going to cook. The next cooking with Cranky is going to be over at my house. And what we'll do there is that I'm going to show you what I do with a roasted chicken. Like, you get that cold roasted chicken, that rotisserie chicken that you can buy at the supermarket. And I'm going to show you what I do with it, which is... I basically use like a little bit. I have like this uh, chicken stock that I keep and I put it in there um, and I basically, I save all that stuff. Like all the bones and everything with a rotisserie chicken makes good stock. Uh, never waste anything uh, is my motto. Uh, other than that, I eat uh, rye bread. I've been eating turkey sandwiches, uh, like uh, this really good Plainsville turkey uh, with mozzarella. So I put like a little bit of mozzarella on there because it's the only cheese I can really eat. I can't eat any like aged cheddar cheese because it doesn't work. Can't eat any dairy cream or anything like that because it doesn't work. And I hate yogurt. I hate the taste of yogurt. I really do. Uh, <laughs> so I have to check. If I if I got to eat some yogurt, I, I don't know what I got to do with it. I, maybe I got to put some honey or berries in it. But yeah, this is basically a nice staple. This is what I'm eating. Like a lot of lettuce with radish, celery, carrots. Um, what else do I got? I got something else in here. Radish. What root vegetable do I have in here besides that? I think that's I think that's it. Radishes, I really love radishes. Even they're nice and bitter. I like bitter stuff. I don't really like sweet all that much. So this berry stuff is like a nice little treat, but I do like honey. Um I do like honey, and berries are not sweet, too sweet, in order to, like, make me go, eh, you know. It's not like a candy bar. Um, it's not like a candy bar ice cream or, like, uh, other kind of candy that makes me gag. So, yeah, so this is Cooking with Cranky. I know it's not, like, a big, big, huge deal. Uh, I think the next, like I said, the next Cooking with Cranky will probably be uh, one of my, maybe I'll just show you the sandwiches I make <laughs> because I do the dressing uh, I like doing the dressings the best, uh, where like I got nice a, a nice little garlic spread type of thing, with garlic and basil, and um, uh, and I use rye bread, rye. So you got to something you got to be whole a whole grain, and so rye is like that part of wheat that I the um, that I like that I tolerate better, uh, and I just like it. I really like marble rye too, so I eat that. Um, and then fish fries. I got cod. So I got cod. Um, I was thinking about actually getting a recipe for grouper and trying to see if I can eat a grouper. Uh, I've never tried it, but I think I'll try to do that in the channel. Other than that, I, yes, I do have the Hitman 3 there. Once I, I get rid of this big black dog, um, I sleep, I start sleeping better. I have not been sleeping really well. Get this do my best to lower the stress levels uh but the big one right now is like out of my control it's 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 my job it's it's people people not doing their job at my job in order to actually give me what i'm deserved uh so that's a hard one that's a hard one 
uh, and that really hits me hard, and, 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 um, it's just something that I always had a battle, is, like, these things that, I, I've known people where they get hit and slung, and they keep moving, they're like, eh, eh, say la vie, or whatever little phrases they have, they go, eh, you can't change it, just gotta go on, and I envy those people, I really do, that can shrug these things off, um, I can shrug off little things, but they stick, like, I, I, it, like this, the people that I know that can shrug these things up, they just go along and it hits them and they kind of like, ooh, shrug, they swipe it away and they swipe it away and they keep on moving forward. With me, it's like, it hits me and I keep on going forward and it hits me again and I keep moving forward. Then it just keeps on hitting me and then I go to one knee and then I go to two knees. Then I'm crawling and it's just like, then it gets to the point where I'm like, ah, and, and that's one, it's. Why I'm single and will always be single, um, I learned that late in life. I try, well, I, it, late in life, I tried to do the whole uh, live together relationship uh, kind of thing. Uh, doesn't work for me. I'm better solitary and better on my own. Uh, I raised two, my two boys on my own, and so that, I'm just better that way. Uh, but, um, but yeah, it does get to me. It's one of those things where, like, that would be frustrating to live with me. Just when I get to that point and I just, I, I, I usually shut down, which means I, I, it's like I'm a cocoon and I shut down and I bury myself within myself and try to figure this stuff out. So I don't talk. I, I, I'm a, I become recluse. I become a hermit. I don't go out anywhere. I don't do anything. Um, sometimes I do spend a little bit. I spend some money, like $100 on weird gadgets. That's my downfall. Like, I don't shop for clothes. I don't. I don't shop for high-end clothes. I don't do any. Although I did buy a Roddy Roddy Piper outfit. To come to think of it, last month. So I do have those kind of bad things. But, anyways. So, but I don't. But I don't have like really really bad habits anymore. Um, but I buy gadgets. So like I buy like solar powered um, walk lights. I buy. Um, I buy what? Um, I thought I bought a, a nice air pressure thing that's powered by your cigarette lighter, uh, your 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 voltage in your car, so you you don't have to go to uh, the gas station, AK Petro station, in order to fill up your tires. So I buy I, I do stuff like that. Anyways, but once that goes, I do I but that whole thing about the the wrestling, the pro wrestling. I did find a game called Journey of Wrestling, so I am going to try to play that game it's a browser based game it looks like it's really simple and hopefully you guys will like it uh i am uh i do have i did find space crew space crew save file i oh i did have a backup i did have a backup uh with the folders for some reason it does not work with the outer worlds but it did work with space crew so once again uh, and it did work with GOG, good old games, but all those games are already finished on, on my web, on, on the page. Like Monkey Island. All I found all those save files because they were a file, what is it, file history backup? And that's under control panel, security and maintenance, and then it's like file history. I did, I do have an external drive, I do have an F drive, and it was a small Seagate 3 terabyte expansion thing. And yeah, I saved those. So like my app data... And my documents and everything, but for some reason, Epic Games, um, the Outer Worlds was was not saved, and uh, Steam for some reason, uh, Steam games saved games were not saved, and Origin games, of course, Origin games just suck. Uh, no, actually, Origin games actually did. Actually, I do have FIFA back. I think, um, although I think maybe it's corrupted. But anyway, Space Cruise, uh, so Steam was fine, and Good Old Games was fine. Of course. They're, they're always fine. Um, but, so Epic Games, I would say, make sure you do cloud save, okay? Anyways, um, I think I'm probably going to split this up. Uh, Cooking with Cranky, part one, part two. Um, maybe I'll do Cranky's Corner, and then I'll do, this will be um, Cooking with Cranky. Uh, so anyways, yeah, that's what I got. Um, and we will get back to it later. Thank you for joining me. Get up my interlone.